Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your January 15th through January 21st weekly tarot reading. I am going to combine general and, and love and see what comes up. Uh, just take what resonates and leave the rest. The whole thing may not resonate because it's not a private reading. Um, these are the Ask Angels cards. So what I'm going to ask you to do is ask a question right now. What's a question that you would like to have answered? And hopefully this little card will give you your answer. Okay, it gives you time frames sometimes. Sometimes it's a yes or no. Sometimes it's, we'll see what comes up. Just ask a question, okay? And at the end of the reading, it will be revealed. Let's see. I don't know. What's it going to be? going to be this little baby right here. There we go. Now, you can change your question, of course, throughout the reading. <laughs> you have plenty of time to do that. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. What do you have for Sagittarius this week, January 15th through January 21st? Oh, there may be some secrets, okay? There may be some secrets. You might know that there's some secrets, but you're just waiting for them to come out. You know, if there's something going on. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Pisces as well. But it feels like somebody, uh, there's some harsh energy around you. There could be even be some controlling. Somebody could be very controlling. There could be some verbal abuse. Um, there's definitely a feeling of... Uh, something is up and you know it something is up and somebody is being quite harsh with you they may be being uh, manipulative okay uh, yeah it looks like somebody wants to free themselves as they may be feeling trapped whoever's watching this you know somebody is feeling trapped like they just need to get out of this situation I feel like there's somebody is is trying to belittle you okay they don't want you to realize everything that's out there you don't they don't want you to realize the truth they don't you don't want you to realize that there's something better you know it feels like yeah they're trying to make you confused and you and it's working okay it's like it's almost and i don't know who this is for i'm sure it's not for everybody but it's almost like a narcissist behavior here with with these cards it's like I know more than you do, and I don't care what you think, you know what I mean? It's like somebody really thinks that they are the, they, they're know-it-all. It's like a know-it-all behavior uh, attitude, and they're, it's causing you a lot of confusion. I feel like um, you have to make a choice, and it's a big one. You know, you may be feeling secure here. This person might keep a roof over your head or or they may have been in your life forever or something, and so you're kind of secure. It's what you know. But in in the midst of it all, you you feel like there's got to be more than this. So you are, you're confused. What am I going to do? I have to make this choice, and I don't know what to do. There could be a change in your home coming up, a uh, change in your establishment. This could be at work or at home, okay? There could be some problems at home as well. Um, just keep that in mind. Something could come up that makes somebody act out. You know, something could um, break. You know, something could break that causes somebody to act out of anger, okay? Because there's some kind of, like, anger here. Um It feels like there's some uh, family feud. It's like there's a family feud. And 
you know, you're just, you're just so sick of it. You're at the point where I can't take this anymore. This is too much for me. I've reached the end. I can't do this anymore. I can't deal with your anger. I just want to get away from this. I mean, somebody is acting out of anger and it's causing a lot of confusion because you once loved this person. Okay. But now it's like, I don't, I can't, I'm not, I'm not feeling the love anymore. Um, and you, it's like you, they, this person has really, uh, belittled you and I don't know who it is and I'm sorry this could be at work could be at home uh, there's some kind of feud whether it's a work feud or a family feud it's like somebody is really really cut you down and made you feel like crap you know and you've and they've dimmed your self-confidence your self-worth uh, and you just feel like you you feel like shit okay and it feels like somebody has been making you feel like shit and and they're they're not even thinking about how you feel okay it, they've dimmed your shine they they've put your fire out okay and and you have no eagerness to even be in this situation anymore so it just feels like there's some kind of feud going on and you know that you're going to have to make a move and right now you're you're at a point where this sucks. This really sucks because it isn't what I was hoping for. You know, you're starting to realize that this is a trap. You feel like you're in prison. You may be, somebody may be even going to prison or you seriously feel like you are in prison, okay? Um, and you feel like, I can't believe this has happened. I can't believe, you know, this is definitely not the, not what I was looking for, Okay. We're going to go in. I want to make sure this is zoomed in. It's like, I can't, there's no more feelings left here. It's like the feelings have died. I've been, I've been, uh, belittled and, and, um, verbally abused so much that I have no feelings left for this situation that kind of thing now we're going to talk about love I think you've reached the end of a situation or you're, you're really thinking about it you're thinking about walking away from something okay you're feeling like I can't I can't do this anymore and I don't think that you will ever look back once you leave okay because it's been so so difficult you just want freedom it's like uh, you're so disappointed I see a lot of disappointment here I, I really thought this that this was going to work out Yeah, some, some kind of truth is coming out, some kind of reality. It's like a reality check. I, I have been trapped here, and, and I can't do this anymore. There's no forward movement. You know, so this is a, this is a, this is a week of, of living in the now. It's like I realize now. I realize now that we are going nowhere. It's like somebody got caught, okay? Somebody got caught doing something. <coughs> you realize it. The truth came out, and now it's... There's no more forward forward uh, path with this person. Their their abuse or uh, whatever they did, you know, their lies or whatever has has come out, and now you know it's bringing you the true growth that, that you needed. But it hurts. Okay, it really hurts. I see some heartache here. Okay, somebody. <coughs> is really really hurt that is watching this that something didn't work out they put a lot into it but now they realize that this abuse is never gonna stop so the time is now to to free themselves i really feel like somebody i mean for somebody that's watching this somebody could end up in jail because of their abuse okay there could be some addictions there could there's manipulation did i what did i say addictions yeah addictions there's manipulation there's control there's um uh, obsessiveness and I feel like you're in a toxic situation and that you are so ready to remove yourself and that hurts because 
you really, really loved this person. And this isn't for every single person, okay? This isn't for every person that's watching it. It's for somebody, all right? Somebody has, the truth has come out, and they are now realizing that they need to free themselves from this toxic situation. And perhaps you were uh, in a, married to this person or in a deep commitment with them, and I feel like there's so much discontent that you have lost all feeling. It's like my feelings are gone at this point. You have hurt me to so much of an extent that I don't have any feelings left for you. That kind of thing. And, you know, that really, really, really hurts. I see a lot of pain here. A lot of pain. Somebody is in a lot of pain. And somebody is definitely going to end up behind bars. <laughs> okay? So, I don't know who it's for. But I definitely see something like that. Like, somebody has gotten caught uh, doing something bad. Um... And it has to do with perhaps even drugs, okay? I don't know who it's for, but... Um, and it really shakes up the whole household, you know? There's definitely... It causes a big feud. There's definitely a feud. Maybe there's domestic assault. I don't know. There's something going on here. Um, now, this can be with... It can be with... Uh, in a loving relationship, which probably isn't love at this point... Could be with a family member, could be at work, but there's definitely some kind of feud that causes perhaps even a, like a fight, you know, a domestic a fight of some sort. And the cops get called, you know, and, you know, somebody ends up spending a night or two or even more behind bars, something like that. Um, <laughs> not what I wanted to give for a reading. But anyhow, let's see if we can get anything out of these angel romance cards for love for you. Still got your question, I hope, because we are going to get to that card after. Hopefully it's a good one. But I can't guarantee anything at this point. And if you guys are all looking for rainbows and butterflies, then you're watching the wrong girl. Because I'm not going to give you just rainbows and butterflies when they don't come out. I can't. There's no rainbows and butterflies in this reading. None. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Now this card again can mean so much. Everything happens for a reason. Remember that. Okay? If something isn't working out, it's because your soulmate is different from the what you who you think it is. It's not who you think it is. That's what this card says. So this is happening for a reason. And this is a big deal right here. Your love life is being affected by children. Your children are being affected by this issue as well. Keep that in mind. Not only that, I feel like some of you are so upset because you want children. You want children and you're coming to that point where time is running out. And so you may have got involved with somebody who wasn't the right one in hopes that this would happen. But the universe doesn't really want that to happen. Okay? They don't really want to bring children into a spot where the things are going to be this bad. Okay? Now, this could be, this card can also mean that you are having a family feud with your parents. Okay? You're the child, or you're having a family feud with your children. Okay? And it's really affecting everything in your life. They can all mean so many, so many things. It could be a child that's on drugs that ends up behind bars. You know, there's that you have to see however this works out for you. But there is definitely um, children at play. Okay. I have to show you the last card. I wasn't going to do it, but I just happened to. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. You know it. You're aware. Now 
you have to act. The time is now to take action. I think that some truth is coming out. That somebody's getting caught doing something. And the shit hits the fan and they act out of anger. Because they got caught. Angel of love. Thank God, right? Everything happens for a reason. You remember I told you that? This beautiful angel comes with roses in her hair and rose-colored wings. She holds a rose quartz heart, radiating tender and loving vibrations, bringing you compassion and affection for yourself. If you are looking for new love, this angel brings a message of its upcoming approach. Or if you're longing for a deeper, more intimate connection with someone already in your life, she's here to say that far greater tenderness is available to you. It is. You're worth more. You're worth tenderness. Either way, remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward. And the compassion that you demonstrate towards yourself will influence the energetic potential of these events in a significant way. You must love yourself to the highest extent for, the, for that love to come in, the right one. You have to take the steps that are needed to allow the right one to come in. Anyhow, this is what I have. And I'm going to go ahead and get your, your answer to your question. Are you ready? Do you have it? Do you remember what it was? Um, remember at the beginning I told you to ask a question. Okay. And this would hopefully reveal your answer. You ready? Ooh, success. Success. Whatever your question was, the answer is yes, success. And we're going to leave it at that. So Sagittarius, I wish you the best. And like I said, this will not resonate with every single person that watches it. Talk to you later.